Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I am Steve Morris. Here's something totally different for you. Carbureted vacuum secondary 383 small block Chevrolet. Now, uh, what's what's interesting about this, is, and realistically, the only reason I'm, I'm doing it is because this was an existing customer from over 30 years ago. Believe it or not, almost, actually almost 30 years ago. And uh, he had it and says, hey, you know, I'd really like to have you rebuild and go through this and make it a little bit better. All right, cool. So uh, we put another 383, just a better rotate assembly. This thing had an old stock rod set up and stock crank set, set up. So back in the days, you'd take a 400 Chevrolet crank, you'd grind it down, and you'd make it fit a 350 crank or 350 block that gave you the stroke and uh, that would make it into a 383. So it's 3750 stroke. Now you got rotating assemblies up the wazoo and super common. And uh, so no big deal there. And he wanted to put aluminum head on it because he used to have an old cast iron head. It's just a stock OE head. So this is a Dart uh, 200 CC head. I think it's 200, 200, two, yeah, two, the 200 head. Um, Nice little setup, changed the intake manifold, still kept his vacuum secondary carb. And uh, so it's a little interesting. Pump gas, just a daily driver beat on it. I think it's going in his uh, uh, mud mud truck, I think, or, or you know some kind of uh, off-road, four-wheel drive truck. But uh, anyways, it's for Scott Van Velen. This is way back in the day, like I said, when it was uh, almost 30 years ago now. So anyways... Just something kind of cool, something different. Uh, they still make you know good horsepower. Uh, definitely make it more horsepower than it was way back when, uh, when it's just a dual dual plane manifold with a cast iron cylinder head, a stock cast iron cylinder head. So uh, this thing's uh, definitely looking pretty good. And uh, interestingly enough, run it with a vacuum secondary carburetor versus a mechanical carburetor. And uh, when they're right, these vacuum secondaries they still work really well and uh, loses a little bit of torque because uh, the secondaries aren't opening up the same. But uh, for high-end horsepower, it was actually within one, one horsepower of a mechanical carburetor they got sitting over there. So uh, anyways, pretty interesting. Let's uh, put this on camera, make a pull on it for Scott, and I'll show you the numbers. So let's take a look at the numbers here. Move over camera and uh, let's see here. Pretty nice solid piece. Now, this is a, a small uh, solid roller, uh, but still, you know, for uh, endurability or endurance, um, you know, by far and away not a max effort deal. Just a really nice street card deal or, you know, nice endurance piece. Um, so we want to keep good torque in it. This thing, you know, 4,000 RPM, you know, actually we can run that down a little bit lower. Let's pull that down here. Collect the data at 3,500. Let's see what it says. There we go. All the way down to 500 foot pounds of torque. 
right at 3500 rpm so nice big torquey uh nice good curve out here carries the torque really nice all the way out in that 5500 ish area and then it starts laying over um you know so we make our peak horsepower out there at 554 um at only 5900 rpm but i mean it's kind of flat out here so it's still making good horsepower out there all the way into that uh, 6,500, still 540, 544, 547, 549. So, uh, then out at like after 6,500, it starts laying over. That's because, um, because it does it with the, the, uh, double pumper also, uh, with the other carburetor. That's simply a matter of the balance of camshafts. So we could put more camshaft in it and it would kind of like move this entire curve over here. And probably make a little more horsepower, maybe a little more peak horsepower. Definitely would make more horsepower at 7,000, 7,500. Um, but it would definitely lose down here at 3,500. So that's not the compromise we want to make with it. Just makes a really nice, good piece. Uh, Scott was only looking for 500 horsepower anyways. Um, side note, uh, this is, that is actually as fast. Because every once in a while I get comments about... Uh, uh how fast the dyno sweeps or or whatnot so in the control that is actually this little knob right here is the sweep rate that is as fast as i can sweep it and uh normally i have these things slowed way down trying to sweep them slower so the more horsepower an engine makes so when you see the great big horsepower stuff we do here uh, especially anything over 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 horsepower, they still sweep pretty fast. And I'll have this knob, you know, turned all the way down, uh, just trying to get it to, to load prop or, you know, to load and, and sweep slower. So that's just a little FYI, but that, that kind of sweep right there is literally as fast as I can let it go. It will not sweep any faster at that horsepower level. So just a little interesting side note, but, uh, I think that's a really nice piece. I know Scott's super happy with it. He's gonna come pick it up. And uh, maybe, well, I don't think I'll be seeing it in another 30 years, but maybe we see it in, well, I don't know. I suppose we could maybe see it in another 20 years. 30 years would be pushing it, but you never know. I'm Steve Morris, have a great day.